Do you think it is important to be on time with regards to worship and why do you think it's important? Why do you think it makes a difference to our corporate worship if we turn up on time and ready to start? I think in much of life it's important to be on time. If you go to school, the teacher wants you there on time. If you go to work, your boss wants you there on time. Um, I think church is more important than either of those because we get to worship God. God loves you whatever time you turn up, but he loves it if you're on time too. I think there's something, would you agree, in um, being on time allows us to prepare ourselves and almost catch our breath before we get into the job of, of worship? It can do, because if you turn up and everything's already started, you've got no time to actually just assess the situation, where to sit, where your friends are, and you might actually even start talking instead of worshipping God. Whereas if you're there, maybe a few minutes early, you've got a chance just to refresh yourself and get ready to sing, give glory to God and to, to meet others and to serve. Yeah, I, I, I think it's important that we can welcome one another and we can spend some time talking before we worship. I think that's part of the corporate experience of our faith. Um, but I think it's a shame if that then has to to happen over someone else who's prepared and is trying to lead worship. Um, so I think that's that's really true, that it, um, that, that being a little bit early actually gives us an opportunity to, to spend some time welcoming one another and talking, but also then able to be prepared for worship. So if we're not on time, how does that impact on our worship? I think that it will put us in a position where we're not necessarily prepared to worship. Um, on top of that, often there will be very few people in the congregation at the start time of half past ten. Um, sometimes there will be more people at the front of church than there are in the main body of the church. Um, and so it really makes it impractical to start at half past ten. It may well push the start time of the first song, for example, back by ten minutes, which means maybe the worship leader has to cut a song or two out of this out of the set they're going to do, or maybe the preacher has to take some points out of a sermon. Maybe we have to squash some things together. Um, that means the kids don't get to be involved for as long a period of time in the worship. Um, and I think it, it has a, a huge impact on um, on our worship overall, our corporate worship experience. I'm aware sometimes that we get visitors to church and rarely are visitors late. Um, do you think it makes a difference if the church congregation are on time when visitors are there on time? I Definitely, because if you want visitors to actually join the church, if you want visitors to meet with Jesus, if they don't know Jesus, then their first impressions make a big difference. So if their first impression is that there's nobody here and there's nobody here who wants to talk to me, I think that's quite sad. But if we've actually got church members there, ready, willing, they're slightly early, they're ready to talk to people, it's really helpful for the church and it will be helpful for those visitors that have come.